Today, I will introduce you to the new products and solutions from NVIDIA Networking. I will explain in detail the hardware and software components. The hardware family includes network cards, DPU, switches, cables, transceivers. First, I will focus on one of the products in the networking, the network card. There are many types, such as Ethernet cards and InfiniBand cards. Today, I will talk about the latest Connect X7 InfiniBand Smart NIC. It supports both Ethernet and InfiniBand functions. We all know that in a high-speed network, we need a medium to connect our HPC, servers, storage, and other devices. That's why we need this, the Connect X7 Smart Card. In high bandwidth network, we are doing large language models, high-performance AI computing, and some rendering scenarios, which require a lot of low-latency network cards. Let's take a look at the Connect X7 Smart Card. From this card, we can see that the core chip on the PCB is the Connect X7 chip. The card we are showing here is a single port card, which has a 400 gigabit NDR output. There are also dual port cards, so if we need to use 200 gigabit or 400 gigabit networks, we can use the software to split them. For example, this card is an InfiniBand card with VPI, so we can install it directly on our server. As long as we run the driver, no need to do any mode switching if we use IB network. But if we want to use high bandwidth Ethernet, it can be switched to 200 gigabit, 100 gigabit, or 400 gigabit. We can achieve this through the driver level. You can see that there is a heat sink on the upper layer of the PCB board. The main function is to dissipate heat. We can also see from the side that the direction of the airflow of the heat sink is from front to back. Because it generates a lot of heat, we need some external air to do the airflow when transferring data at high speed. It needs to use PCIe 5.0, which is 16x speed. What are the main application scenarios of this smart NIC? It is used for high-performance clusters, AI computing, and rendering farms. There are also some high-performance fields, such as geographic analysis or remote sensing. So if our network bandwidth is too small, it is good for the training environment, but it will affect the training of the whole cluster because the network is blocked. Anyway, I suggest you to evaluate and choose the right NIC for your needs. You can evaluate it in terms of application scenarios, data size, file size, and the amount of data transferred each time. That's all for this video. This InfiniBand card has VPI, so it can support both Ethernet and InfiniBand. We can support 400 gigabit, 200 gigabit, 100 gigabit partitions. In the future, I will also introduce the modules, cables and the switches that connect to this card. And later, when finish the network, I will show you how to monitor the transmission status and performance of the network cards and modules in the whole cluster. I will share this series with you in the following videos. Thanks for watching this video, see you guys next time.